join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. The story of artificial intelligence, one of the most transformative ideas in human history, is often told through the names of men who occupied lecture halls, university laboratories, and later Silicon Valley offices. We hear of Alan Turing, John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Claude Shannon, and others. Their achievements are undeniable, but the narrative leaves out an equally critical voice whose intellect, imagination, and determination helped shape the conceptual foundations of machine learning and intelligent computing. That voice belonged to a black woman, an unsung pioneer, who, in the midst of racial and gendered barriers, advanced ideas that later blossomed into what the world today calls artificial intelligence. Her name was Dr. Gladys West, and though she is most often remembered for her mathematical work on geodesy and the global positioning system, her contributions to conceptualizing computer models and laying down the intellectual architecture for machines that could think align with the very DNA of artificial intelligence. To understand why her story matters, one must travel back to the segregated American South of the mid-20th century. Born in 1930 in Sutherland, Virginia, Gladys West grew up in a world defined by systemic racism and the quiet but crushing weight of poverty. Her parents were sharecroppers, and like so many black children of her generation, she was not expected by society to escape the fields. Yet she possessed an innate love for numbers and patterns, an intuition for structure and logic that would become her passport into spaces that very few black women had entered. Winning a scholarship, she attended Virginia State College, a historically black university, where she excelled in mathematics, a subject whose rigor allowed her to escape the prejudices of interpretation. Numbers, after all, did not discriminate, even if people did. It was here, in the closed lines of mathematical proofs, that she began to imagine what machines might one day be able to do if taught to handle complexity and data at scale. When she graduated in 1952, the United States was entering a new technological era. The Cold War fueled investment in computing, satellites, and information sciences. Yet for a black woman, opportunities were few and precarious. Through talent and perseverance, she found her way to the U.S. Naval Proving Ground in Dahlgren, Virginia, a research center where some of the earliest large-scale computer projects were underway. There, she worked as a programmer, one of the very few women and certainly one of the only black women, tasked with operating massive IBM computers that filled entire rooms with their humming presence. Unlike today's machines, which are sleek and portable, these early computers were clunky, temperamental, and required operators to master both mathematical logic and mechanical patience. Gladys West not only mastered them, she began to push their limits. Her work initially focused on satellite data and the mathematical modeling of the Earth's shape, a task crucial for navigation, defense systems, and what would later become GPS. But embedded in this work was something profoundly futuristic. She was programming machines to simulate the natural world. To create geodetic models meant teaching computers to understand curvature, topography, and physical irregularities by translating them into mathematical instructions. What she was doing, though framed in geodesy, was conceptually indistinguishable from what later AI pioneers would call machine learning. Building computational systems that could process data inputs, apply algorithms, and generate predictive outputs. She was not just solving equations, she was training machines to process information in ways previously thought exclusive to human calculation. The fascinating truth about her contributions is that they reveal how artificial intelligence did not emerge solely from abstract thought experiments about human cognition, like Turing's famous question of whether machines can think. It also grew out of practical work, the gritty problem of teaching computers to approximate reality. Gladys West's models were not theoretical games. They were real, large-scale data challenges, requiring her to refine how computers handled inputs, adapted to errors, and integrated corrections. In essence, she was quietly embedding intelligence into machines by giving them the ability to model the unpredictable. This work, though not branded as artificial intelligence at the time, foreshadowed many of the central problems of AI today from autonomous navigation to environmental modeling. 
What makes her story even more remarkable is how invisible she remained while making these strides. Her workplace, like much of America, was segregated not by law but by culture and expectation. She rarely saw herself celebrated, nor did she occupy the podiums where men announced breakthroughs. Instead, she worked steadily. Her brilliance poured into equations, codes, and computer instructions that others would later package into global technologies. In this sense, her life is also a story about the erasure of black women in the history of science and technology. Their work often became the scaffolding upon which others built, yet their names disappeared from the headlines. The deeper one looks into her work, the more connections to artificial intelligence become clear. In developing geodetic models, she had to confront the problem of uncertainty. The Earth is not a perfect sphere, nor is data ever perfect. To solve this, she and her colleagues refined iterative computation methods, where computers adjusted their output step by step, gradually learning better approximations. This iterative logic is strikingly similar to the algorithms that later define neural networks and deep learning, where systems refine predictions based on errors until they converge on accuracy. Furthermore, her focus on large data sets anticipated the data-centric paradigm of AI, where vast quantities of information fuel intelligent behavior. While the world celebrates the likes of Jeffrey Hinton for developing backpropagation or Jan LeCun for convolutional neural networks, the intellectual lineage can be traced further back to pioneers like Gladys West, whose very survival in mathematics demanded wrestling with problems of complexity, data, and adaptation. The recognition of her influence came slowly. For decades, she lived in the shadows of her equations. Her contributions folded into the broader projects of the Navy. Only in recent years has she been acknowledged publicly, particularly for her role in GPS, without which modern artificial intelligence applications like self-driving cars, delivery drones, and even smartphones could not function. Yet even this acknowledgement risks underestimating her impact, because to frame her solely as the mother of GPS is to overlook how her mathematical imagination helped expand the very ways computers could operate. She demonstrated that machines were not limited to tabulating or storing data. They could simulate reality, make predictions, and assist human intelligence in profound ways. That, at its core, is artificial intelligence. Her story compels us to rethink not only the history of AI, but also the history of black women in science. Too often, narratives cast them as anomalies, exceptional figures who beat the odds. While true, this framing risks exoticizing them rather than situating them as central architects of modern knowledge. Gladys West was not an exception in the sense of being out of place. She was precisely where she was needed, in the crucible of computing, proving that intelligence knows no race or gender. What made her exceptional was not her identity, but her unrelenting pursuit of precision in an era that gave her no reason to believe the world would recognize it. Artificial intelligence is often spoken of as a frontier technology, shaping a future beyond imagination. Yet its roots are deeply historical, tied to the struggles of people like Gladys West, who labored in environments that excluded them, who pressed forward despite being unseen, and who, through their vision, expanded what machines, and by extension humanity, could achieve. The fact that a black woman born into the fields of Virginia would help chart the course of intelligent machines is not just inspiring. It is a radical reminder of how genius flourishes in unexpected places and how history must be rewritten to give credit where it has long been denied. When we speak of the pioneers of artificial intelligence, her name deserves to stand alongside Turing, McCarthy, and Minsky. Not because she wrote the same theories, but because she lived the questions they only theorized. She taught machines to see the world, to process it, and to refine their understanding of it. Without her, the conceptual bridge from early computing to intelligent systems would be far poorer. In a time when artificial intelligence is reshaping human existence, her story reminds us that the future was, in part, imagined by a black woman who refused to be confined by the limitations imposed on her.